Let me thank the Koch brothers of all people for sponsoring a study that shows that Medicare for all would save the American people $2 trillion over a 10-year period. I suspect that that is not what the Koch brothers intended to do, but that is what is in the study of the Mercatus Center, an organization that is significantly funded by the Koch brothers. At a time when the United States spends far more per capita on health care than any other country on earth, almost 18% of our GDP, a Medicare for all health care system would save the average family significant sums of money. It will do that by substantially reducing the administrative costs now taking place as a result of the billing, bureaucracy, and insatiable greed within the insurance industry whose main function in life is not to make people well, but to make stockholders incredibly rich. If we can get rid of the profiteering, the dysfunction, and the incredible waste within the current healthcare system, if we get rid of the advertising and the high-priced compensation packages of healthcare executives, we can save hundreds of billions of dollars each and every year. Medicare for all will also significantly reduce the rapidly escalating and outrageous cost of prescription drugs. Depending on income, an individual may pay a little bit more in taxes to finance Medicare for all, but they will save thousands of dollars each and every year because they will no longer be paying insurance company premiums, deductibles, or co-payments to the private for-profit companies that now run our healthcare system. Today, under our current dysfunctional healthcare system, believe it or not, it costs more than $28,000 a year to provide healthcare to the typical family of four. $28,000 a year. Those costs will go down, not up, under a Medicare for All system. Here is the bottom line. If every major country on earth can guarantee health care to all and achieve better health care outcomes while spending substantially less per capita than we do, please do not tell me that the United States of America cannot do the same. Needless to say, there is huge opposition to this legislation from the powerful special interests that profit from the current wasteful health care system we have today. The insurance companies, the drug companies, Wall Street, and the Koch brothers are devoting a lot of money to lobbying, campaign contributions, and television ads to defeat this proposal. But they are on the wrong side of history. Guaranteeing health care as a right is important to the American people, not just from a moral and financial perspective. It also happens to be what the majority of the American people want. In the last poll that I saw, 63% of Americans now support moving to a Medicare for all system. The time is long overdue for the United States to join every other industrialized country and guarantee health care to all in a cost-effective manner. And that is what Medicare for all is about. Thank you.